Welcome to a tutorial video on Ink for the Web. In this video I'm going to cover working with CSS. As we discussed across this series of videos, there are different tags we can use when working with the web or expert for the web version within Ink and Inky. We've talked about in previous videos we can use the image tag to include images, we can use the author and theme to change the author and theme, those are more meta instructions or meta tags, we can even use the clear tag as covered in a previous video to clear text across the screen. The tag that we're discussing in this video is class. So notice here we have text, at the end of it we have tag, in this case capitalized, a colon, and then the name of a CSS class. In the cases of line 6 it's show top, in the case of line 10 it's make green. And again over here on the left hand side the preview doesn't really know what to do with that. So where are these two CSS classes defined? Well, as we remember, when we first did an export for web, that was file, export for web, it created a new folder, and within those folder created files for us. index.html, the name of the story.js file, ink.js, main.js, and style.css. Well, that's where their styles are defined. In fact, as I've discussed across these videos, the very first thing we do when we want a project and we want to export it for the web or write in ink and use it on the web is that we do an export for web first. It creates that folder and creates these files for us. So I'm edited the style.css file and I'm using Adam to do that. Adam is an open source editor for doing things like that, but you could also use Notepad and other tools like that. At the bottom of this file, I've added two new CSS classes, show top and make green, as I discussed when I mentioned them in the inky file. So show top has three CSS rules, position fixed, top zero pixels, and left ten pixels. Make green only has a single rule, color green. We can see these if we go to the HTML file, index.html, and I'll refresh so we see it fresh here, that this text is now in the upper left-hand corner. Well, that's because in Inky, we used the class tag on that line. It applied the CSS class show top. In the style.css file, show top said position fixed, top 0 pixels, and left 10 pixels. So it applied those CSS rules to this CSS class. The class tag in Inky was applied to that sentence or that block of text. And as we saw when we looked at it in a web browser, those rules were added to that text. We can also see down here that this text is in green. Well, that was because in Inky we used the class tag to apply a CSS class, make green, that was defined in the style.css file. So, as a review, we can use CSS with Ink for the Web. The first step, like all of this, is to export for web. The very first thing we do when we have code, it will create a folder that we can name and it will create the initial files for us. index.html, the story.js file, ink.js, main.js, and style.css. Then, once those are created, we can change those files. We can go into style.css and change the CSS rules. We can also add more CSS classes. Back within this code, we can add the CSS tag two blocks of text or lines of text to apply those CSS classes we've defined in the style.css file. Once those are defined, we can apply them. To see our changes once we've exported for the web at least one time, as I discussed across these videos, we go back to file, export story.js only, go into that folder as I've already done here, save, replace, come back, the HTML and refresh to see those changes. Thanks for watching.